Hey, if you're watching this YouTube video and someone with my name replies to your comment offering you a prize or money, it's not me. But I'll tell you who it is. So there's been a couple of guys pretending to be me on Facebook and Instagram who go around asking for donations to help people in Africa. And I just want to clear the air and say that this is not me. My official social media handles are right here. By the way, if anyone at Facebook wants to help me get pleasant green on Instagram, that would be very great because I miss the two E's. Uh, but anyway, I try to get these imposters banned as soon as I see them. And luckily, I haven't seen anybody doing this on YouTube yet. But this is a big problem right now. There are scammers who will create YouTube accounts that look identical to the channel that you're watching. And I'll try to get you to enter some contest or pay them or whatever. And this can really hurt creators. In fact, some big YouTubers have recently gotten notices from YouTube that their accounts are being shut down because they think that the channel is all spam. And this isn't cool. This can really cost creators their entire livelihood. So make sure that you look for the check mark to determine whether or not it's the real person. Anyway, I was recently contacted by SuperSap, who has a way cool tech channel that you should definitely check out. But he is getting hit with scammers trying to fool his subscribers, and so he's been wanting to pull back the curtain and find out who they are, and where they are, and how this whole operation works. And that's when he reached out to me and asked if I wanted to investigate. And I said, of course I do. So I went on over to his channel where there are some imposters informing his subscribers that they are winners and they need to contact him on WhatsApp to claim their prize. Now, I have no idea how many of them will actually do this, but I sure as heck will. So I sent the scammer a text and I said, Hello, Super Saf. I was told I am a winner. And he said, Congratulations, on which of our videos did you win? And I told him that it was one of Super Saf's. He said, Your name, please. I said, My name is Ben. Okay, Ben, can I have your username, please? I said, I don't know, this is all I got, and I sent him one of the comments from Super Saf's channel. Congratulations, you are among our shortlisted winners on free iPhone. You won. Hey, lucky me, I'm a winner. So the guy goes on to ask me for some personal information so he can get my prize ready for shipping. He then says, okay, your package is ready and ready for shipping. And I'm like, I don't have to do anything else? And he says, you have to pay a shipping fee of $100. Ah, here we go. There's always a catch. There's no reason it should cost more than $10 to ship my iPhone, but I guess they gotta make their money somehow. So he goes on to tell me to pay with PayPal and he gives me the email account joyceandjerry at gmail.com and tells me to say the payment is for family and friends. Okay, who in the heck are Joyce and Jerry? They certainly aren't my friends. I've never even heard of them. Well, there are some sites like binverified.com that will cross-reference any email address that you have with social media accounts or phone numbers and possibly tell you who owns the account. And these are great sites, but you usually have to pay for their services. And you might want to try it out for a month, but they'll keep charging you unless you forget. And that's why I want to quickly talk about privacy.com who's sponsoring this video. Privacy is a tool that makes it super easy to manage your financial lives online while keeping your most important information secure. And it does this by allowing you to generate virtual numbers that you can use for your online payments. You can then decide who can charge your card, how much, and how often. And I love using privacy when I sign up for subscriptions and reoccurring payments because I know I'll never get accidentally billed twice or upgraded to another service without my consent. And you'll be notified if you're ever charged any more than what you choose. It works really well when you just want to sign up for a free trial where you don't really have to pay, but you have to give them a credit card. Just close the card whenever you want and never worry about forgetting to cancel and being locked into a contract you never wanted. Also, this extra layer of protection will make sure that you are never giving away any personal information to potential scammers online. This is super helpful for me, and I think that you all should try it out. You can do this by heading on over to privacy.com slash pleasant green. That's privacy.com slash pleasant green and sign up for an account. And as a special treat for our viewers, new customers will automatically get $5 to spend on your first purchase for a limited time only. Yeah, that's free money. So go to privacy.com slash pleasant green and sign up now. Well, after running the search, it turns out I'm not able to find out any information on this email address. So I try something else and I go ahead and I try sending one penny to them to see if it will show any account information. But it stops the transaction and says the recipient can't receive payments right now. 
which is very fishy because either the account has been deleted or it's on hold because it's been flagged for scamming. So I tell the guy that something's wrong and he says, wait, let me give you another tag. Hold a minute. And a few minutes go by and I'm like, it's been a minute. He's probably desperately trying to find another PayPal address that hasn't been reported. Eventually he says, pay to this family and friends and he gives me a new PayPal account for some guy named Richard. And I'm like, who is Richard? He says, one of the shipping courier, he is the one that will deliver your package. Oh, really? Well, maybe he is, but I wanna to talk to Richard to make sure. So I say, okay, can I have his phone number? And so I call him up and of course he doesn't answer, but he quickly texts me back and he says, who is this please? And I'm like, somebody asked me to send you money to ship my iPhone. And he said, okay, let me confirm that. What is your name please? And I said, Ben Dover. <laughs> okay, make payment and send screenshot okay. And I'm like, do I send as friends and family? Yes. Okay, this guy is neither my family nor my friend, so I say, well, I think that we should get to know each other a little bit so I can call you a friend. He says, okay, I'm actually busy getting ready for my trip now, okay? Once you make payment, you will receive a mail with your tracking number. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything about him. I said, so where are you from? I'm from Dallas, but currently in Canada. And you're shipping me an iPhone 12? Yes, I will be handed your address once your payment is confirmed. Have you made the payment? And I'm like, no, is this the phone? And that link was a link that I created at Grabify.link. And if he clicks on it, I'll be able to know where his IP address is registering. And of course he clicked on it. And it turns out that he's not in Dallas and he's not in Canada. He's in, I thought so. So I go back to the first guy and I say, I think that we've got a problem. And he said, well, what's the problem? I said, I think Richard isn't who he says he is. And Super Saf's imposter gets suspicious and he never writes back. So I go back to Richard and I ask, are you in Nigeria? And he says, Nigeria? Right. Where is Nigeria? Oh, come on. I'm like, you would know, you live there. And then I send him a screenshot of his information, including the very phone that he's using. And then he comes clean and he says, yes, I am from Nigeria. I told you so. And I need money to survive. And he admits that the other guy was actually his brother and they do this in order to find food to eat. They say that there's not a better way to make a living. He goes on, he admits everything, and he tells me how they clone YouTubers' accounts and they try to trick subscribers into sending them money. And so I listened to this guy's sad story and I thought about his situation. And then I said, do you want to earn more? And he said, yes, please, I need help to survive. And then I told him to think of a way to make money. I said, well, what kind of needs are in your community? He said, sorry, I don't understand what you mean by needs. I said, how can we make the community better? Is there trash on the ground? Are there broken fences that need fixing? Are there homes that need repainting? How do we make the community better? And he just sends me a long voice message in his Nigerian accent complaining about everything wrong in his country. And then he says, please help us. But I'm not gonna solve his country's problems. He is. I said, you are gonna make things better. And he says, tell me how. And I ask him once again to think of a way to make his community a better place to live. And he says they can pick up trash in the street. And I say, if he can pick up two large bags full of trash, I'll send him 100 bucks. And Richard agrees to do it. And he identifies an area and he says, we are about to go clean up a refugee camp close to our house. Now we're talking. I told him to go pick up trash and get back to me. And he actually did. He sent me pictures to prove it. Here was an area that was just full of trash and weeds and they took it upon themselves to make it look better. And I held up my end of the deal and I sent him $100 in Bitcoin. And here's the crazy part. They took that $100 and they went and they bought poison to fumigate all the weeds and they replaced the water pump so the residents could get clean water more easily. Yes, sir. And I was stunned. I said, I didn't ask you to take care of the weeds. Why did you use your money to do that? You said I should help the needy, so I thought I should help them get a new pumping machine so they will have water supply, sir. Rather than keeping the money for themselves, they put it back into their community. Now a whole group of people has better access to water and a cleaner place to live. All thanks to these scammers.
Turns out working honestly is more rewarding than scamming. Turns out doing nice things for others feels better than robbing others. And it turns out when you start taking care of where you live, you'll learn to appreciate it more. You know, not all scammers are bad guys. They just need to know how to channel their energy and their creativity. You don't inspire people by showing them your superpowers. You inspire them by showing them their superpowers. Hey everybody, I hope you like this video and that you look for the good in the world. I wanna say thanks to Super Saf for helping me tell this story. Head on over to his channel to see his version of the events. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you very soon. Thank you.